This is one of the greatest horror films ever made. Candyman. Made in 1992, written and directed by Bernard Rose, it's about a scary ghost man that kills you when you say his name a few times. He follows the main character around, scaring her. There's a black friend, a kid, a love interest, a detective, bees, a train. Wait, what? A train? There's no train in Candyman. What is this? What am I watching? <laughs> wow! The Bye Bye Man is a 2017 scam produced by con artists to steal your money. I mean, The Bye Bye Man is a 2017 comedy movie directed by a box of frozen chicken thighs defrosting in the sun. The Bye Bye Man is 96 minutes of someone farting into a bowl of spaghetti. Did someone say, al dente farts? Bye Bye, what, what is that? Bye Bye. What is he saying? Jesus Christ. This has to be the worst title for a horror movie since The Ginger Dead Man, where Gary Busey possesses a gingerbread man cookie and murders people? And I'm not gonna kill you. Oh shit. <laughs> Gary Busey? Wow, that sounds awesome. I wish I could get blackout drunk and go back in time and watch that film instead. Because the Bye Bye Man is worse than eating a spoonful of genital warts? Trust me, I know. Join me now as I dig into this aborted fetus corpse failure and explain why it hits a new low in Hollywood slash American horror cinema. Hey, I have a store in my town called the Bye Bye Man. It's where you go to pick up guys. Get it? Because it's spelled B-U-Y, B-U-Y, man. He's in me now. He's in my friends. Full disclosure, this review will contain a lot of jokes at the expense of this movie's dumbass title. <laughs> the Bye Bye Man is a whore. War film directed by Stacy Tittle and has people pretending to be actors pretending to be human beings. Actors like Daga ma fo smoosh, lai ai o lumi mai o, cray cray ma lai lai bong lan, diddles I got, carry tickle fiddle folk fei fei dida dong, and Jenna Cannell. This 96 minute diaper rash is about a monster man ghost creature thing that hates you when you say or even think his name. Don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it. If you do, you will be cursed. Bye bye, man. <laughs> but basically, he's a ghost and he kills people. He's a ghost and he writes to us. So, just to be as clear as an elephant's eye, here's the way I understand this whole curse thing. Number one, you read, hear his name, and you die. Number two, you start going crazy, i.e. hallucinations. No, 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 no. We have to help them! What do you see? It's a family! It's in your head! Number three, real life physical clues appear indicating Bye Bye Man is getting closer and closer to you? I mean, I think they're supposed to be real? Number four, only way to keep him off your back is to not think his name. Don't think it! Number five, don't say it! Can't say his name either. B -b 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 don't, 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 don't say it again. Don't, don't say it. Ellie, what are you saying? I'm not crazy. Because if someone hears his name, you have to kill them, I think, in an effort to stop the cycle of crazy killing. Don't say it! So in a weird, kinda sorta way, his name is like the tape in the ring. But not really, only yes it is. Hello? 
Bye bye, man. Oh, hi, mom. Come home. I'm cooking Candy Man for dinner. I hate eating Candy Man. He's always full of bees. Your friends, the Boogeyman and Slenderman, think he's delicious. Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> You idiots! You Baba duked all over my new dress. So we opened the movie. <clears throat> so we opened the movie in olden times in 1969, where a horrific murder happens and it's all unnecessarily filmed in one long take because the filmmakers thought it would look cool and they wanted to make the movie longer because it's short because they didn't write a good story because writing is hard so they just filled it with a lot of routine jump scares and hope to god that they could pass it off as a real movie. <gasps> Enter main character and his original friends. A black man and a white girl. Our white man is called Elliot which in Spanish means the Liat, because L means the. He is played by Douglas Smith, You're all dead. who also played Pete in the 2014 failure Ouija. It's not even real, okay? It's just a bit. <laughs> bye bye, man. <laughs> Bye bye man? More like, bye bye career. He's dating a white girl, while his black friend is dating the poor man's Nieve Campbell. Nevy? It's not Nevy. Navy? And it's certainly not Navy, it's just... Nen! Nen, Nen! So just... Don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it! Do it, and then boring things happen. And then they play around with a Ouija board. Douglas Smith messing with a Ouija board again? I'm sure only, only good, good things, things will happen. Don't say us, 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 and then a bug or some rice comes out from her eye. Kim, I, 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 yeah. Hello? Hey, bye bye, man. Why did you do that? What does it mean? I don't know, but isn't it weird and scary? Bugs don't live in people's eyes. But it makes no sense. In that case, why not have a banana come out from her eye? Or balut, which is a Filipino delicacy consisting of a chicken egg with the dead baby still inside. Trust me, I know. Or one of those long CVS receipts. Or bees. Bye bye, man. Where'd you go? Aren't you ashamed of your own movie? Hey, bye bye, man. Where are you? Bye bye, man. And then wannabe Nev Campbell runs out and gets run over by a train. Hey, Elliot, maybe you should have tackled her to the ground or something and save her life. <laughs> Elliot. More like. Idiot. <laughs> hmm, what if Bye Bye Man drove the train? Denzel Washington could be on board too, training Megan Trainer how to cut meat until midnight. <laughs> bye Bye Man should just kill people with his train all the time. You could call the movie The Bye Bye Train. <laughs> train. Maybe he could drive his Bye Bye Train through town and just run everyone over. <laughs> and when he uses the horn, it could say, Bye Bye. You know, just kill everyone since he kinda seems to hate people anyways. Speaking of which, why does he hate everyone? I don't seem to recall any Bye Bye Man backstory. He just has a scary dog. Why does he have the dog? And he hates coins or some shit. Or that's how you know he's coming for you? By a coin dropping onto the ground? But why? Let's ask the Bye Bye Man. It's his movie. Hey Bye Bye Man, where are you? Bye Bye Man? <coughs> what?
What is with the stupid coins? Was he a homeless man before? Did normal people gang up on him and start throwing quarters into his brain and kill him? Kinda like Candyman, but instead of bees, it's quarters? Or bee quarters? Whatever, a little bit of backstory is all I'm asking. And I don't care if it's all in the short story. If I wanted a short story, I'd look down the front of my pants. <coughs> And I hope you guys like jump scares, or as I like to call them, lie scares. <laughs> Trinity from The Matrix is in the movie too. And her eyes end up getting their period for some reason. I think it's supposed to be scary, but I don't know. She kinda looks like Alice Cooper. Hey kids, remember Alice Cooper? No? Then fuck you. <laughs> so later, our main character, uh, what was his name again? Bob? Brent? Brad? Elliot. Elliot's brain is possessed or haunted or something by the Best Buy man. In this scene, uh... What was his name? Tom? Tim? Tiffany? Oh, whatever. Our main white character is clearly acting paranoid and is potentially dangerous. And what just happened, huh? And there were sounds. I mean, come on. He accuses his friends of sleeping with each other behind his back. Don't do that. Don't do what? And his front. Nuh-uh, they say. You we weren't doing anything. No, we didn't. We wouldn't do that to you. Didn't. Why are you lying to me? We're not. Jesus. You be so cray-cray. That's how cool kids say crazy nowadays. English, I love muffins. <laughs> Good thing you're not jealous. It is good. What are you doing, Elliot? This scene right here is the only time in the movie where I felt any sort of emotion toward our main character. Don't do what? Don't! Elliot! Don't, no, don't touch her! What? Don't touch her! You are a crazy paranoid, bro! But right when it's about to get good, it cuts away. Rather abruptly. Rather abruptly. Rather abruptly. Rather abrupt. Rather abruptly, I might add. As if the director said, the movie's getting too interesting. Cut this crap out. I mean, did the filmmakers even give a poop? And then this lady gets run over while making a funny face. Ha! I knew it. Our hero talks to the obligatory smart person who knows what's going on with the plot. Here, kill all the ones you told first, and then kill yourself. It's the only way. And her arm suddenly catches on fire. Gadzooks! I didn't know she had gasoline arms. She should get a job at a gas station. She could refill your gas tank by putting her gasoline arms into your gas tank. It could be like her superpower or something. Now that's a horror movie. Hollywood, are you listening? Help me! Shoot me! Shoot me now! Wait, was he actually going to shoot her? Now, I'm not a smart man. But I am a nice man. If I saw a woman comically set on fire, my first instinct would be to throw water on her. Maybe even spit on her? Aren't I so nice? I'm not like that mean guy, Elliot. He's meaner than an angry toilet. Because Elliot spelt backwards is toilet. Tuh. He's making you sick. Yeah? He's making you crazy. You want something? We finally, eventually, subsequently, ultimately, belatedly, tardedly, finally get to see what the Bye Bye Man looks like. And, spoilers, he's just some homeless guy wearing a hoodie who fingers you. <laughs> B. 
BTW, that means by the way. In the trailer, Elliot's eyes turns racist and turns white. That didn't happen in the actual movie, as you can see from this side-by-side -side comparison. Tell me. Bye-bye, man. Bye-bye, man. And the trailer would make you believe the Bye-bye, man actually says Bye-bye, man in the movie, but he does not. And I suspect it's probably Elliot's voice. Let's do a little test. Here's him saying the line normally. Bye bye, man. Now let's slow it down and make it all spooky. Bye bye, man. My point is, I am so tired of these fake ass trailers telling me lies. Like that other horror movie. What was it called? Good Night Mommy? Good Night Mummy? Spoilers! She does not eat the bug. Eh, that movie wasn't that great anyway. But that trailer is one of the best I've ever seen. Take my advice, skip the movie, just watch the trailer over and over again for 100 minutes, and you'll get an even better version of Goodnight Moomy. Mamma Mia! Are babies coming up with movie titles nowadays? Good night, mommy. Bye bye, man. Hello, Dolly. Bye bye, Birdie. Hello, goodbye. Bye bye, Bangkok. Hello, Mr. Badass. Bye bye, Barty. Barty bye bye. Bye bye, Bastard. Bye bye, Bin Laden. Dysentery. Speaking of gross, on a budget of $7.4 million, how much money do you think this toilet fire made? Two million? Five million? Give up? It made 26.7 million dollars. And I'm sure a sequel is coming sometime soon. As well, what is it gonna be called this time? The Backpack Man? The Tutu Man? How about in the next one he falls into an oven full of muffins and turns into a muffin? You could call him the Muffin Man. Hey, did you guys know the Bye Bye Man has a brother? His name is the Hi Hi Man. Hi 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 Man. Bye 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 Man. As a scientist, which I am not, I know that for every 100th crappy horror movie made, an excellent one is born. The Witch comes to mind. That was another great horror movie. If only I knew what they were saying. From my side. It was there in that goat what bewitched us all farm. A coward, a nine enemy. What? And I'll lick the dust of thine earth. I beg thee, my Christ. What? He took him with this couple of array at me. Speak English. I beg thee, my Christ. Good horror movies are sometimes made. And don't go looking to frickin' Rotten Tomatoes for advice on good horror movies. As of this writing, Bye Bye Man has a score of 23%, which, according to them, makes it better than Friday the 13th, Part 8, Return of the Living Dead, Part 2, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Part 3, Poltergeist 3, Critters 3, Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College, Leprechaun 3, In Las Vegas, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4, Puppet Master 4, Wishmaster 1, 2, 3, 4, Leprechaun 4, Leprechaun in Space, Jason X, Jason in Space, and Crossroads. Apparently at 23%, Bye Bye Man is just as good as Hellraiser 3, which is bullcrap. The Bye Bye Man is like one of those straw thingies that can turn piss into water. Except when you drink from it, you swallow real live piss. Because your friends broke the straw so they could watch you drink their piss because they're not your friends. They're... the filmmakers of this movie? Uh-oh, looks like you're in trouble. Get it? Because urine sounds like you are in- <laughs> Hey guys, I have an idea for the next horror movie I want to review. I don't want to spoil it for you, but I'll give you a clue.
It's the devil inside. Duh.